have you had, if you haven't had a chance to go and see all the artwork, this is going to be my 19th year uh, with the Congressional Art Competition, and I'll tell you the 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 caliber, uh, the the talent that's displayed is really absolutely amazing. And what we want to say is is that our young people here in Hawaii are producing great art. There's reason for them to be recognized, and that's what this competition is all about. Recognize the kids that are doing the the good work. And of course, the winner will go to Washington, and, uh, and the teacher will go to Washington and meet with all of the other winners from across the country and, uh, and be able to, uh, to exchange with one another. And the piece of art will be on display for the millions of people who will be coming to the Capitol over the next year. Not thousands or hundreds of thousands, but millions of people will see it. Now, I want to recognize the judges. They may not be able to be here today, uh, Noe Tanagawa, everybody knows Noe Tanagawa, the artist and reporter for Hawaii Public Radio. She's been a judge in previous contests, and, and Noe tells us that this year's, this year's contest was the toughest. Uh, uh, a, a Cam Napier, editor at Honolulu Magazine, he's a judge in the annual photography contest. He's juried films in the Hawaii International Film Festival. And Stephen Goss, an award-winning graphic artist, uh, his artistic skill first surfaced in elementary school, and he entered many contests like this as a student. The young people who are getting these awards today have earned them. Every single one has been earned, and every bit of their work has been taken into account very, very seriously by our judges. The overall winner now. Our winner is well on her way to becoming an accomplished artist who is confident in expressing herself through her artwork, the judges noted that her entry is skilled and creative enough to appear in magazines. Her entry balances black and white colors and abstract shapes and finely detailed illustration. The best in show for artwork in 2009 is Huakai by Ashley Jimenez, a senior at Kamehameha Schools. Her teacher, Jim Dong, who also taught last year's Best in Show winner. Congratulations. This was a tough, uh, tough job for us. You know, we went through and looked at all the pieces. Um, many, many very, very strong technical accomplishments. You know, great illustration, great photography. There were also many uh, pieces that were excellent as far as uh, the, comp the, the composition and the concept behind it. Um, this particular piece, however, managed to blend both of those very well. And of course, there was a nice little touch uh, relating back to Hawaii, very tribal in feel. Uh, the, 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 the way that it was actually laid out, the composition with the concentric circles and the hand and, and the islands, and it's just a kind of a different way to look at this. And I had seen some influences of maybe Dietrich Varez in this, you know, the, the linoleum and the woodblock carvings. But uh, um, all in all, it was uh, probably the strongest piece as a whole. I just wanted to say I like the layering of the different patterns that went on, um, the concentric circles and then the way the um, symbols were kind of relating both to contemporary graphics and the other um, sort of stylizations of, of tattoo imagery and the way they were kind of sprinkled across galaxy style. I like that. And um, of course there was the sail. Good job and technically well done. Uh, what I liked about the Best in Show was uh, the, the mixture of technical mastery over their, their technique. They really knew what they were doing and how to get it done, uh, plus the inspiration that they had to uh, tell us a, a, a spiritual, celestial story uh, through their technique. This is the essay from Ashley Jimenez of Kamehameha Schools, the one who won Best in Show. I'm a senior at Kamehameha School's Kapalama campus, and I did this artwork in my design and illustration class under my instructor, Mr. Dong. My piece was created with the theme of engineering, physics, and astronomy, all of which Hawaiians had knowledge of in some way or another. They needed to know about these areas for their survival. Engineering and physics was needed for things such as building their massive canoes. I focused mainly on the astronomy and how my ancestors would use the stars in the night sky to map out their voyages or huaka'i, which is the name of my artwork. The canoe was their form of transportation across the oceans. There were no GPS or airplanes, so their maps were all in their memory and in the stars. 
incorporating a hint of something Hawaiian in all of my art is something I love to do. And this was the perfect opportunity to portray my background. I am Hawaiian, and I represent my culture with everything I speak, think, and do. There's a lot more to know about my culture, and art is something that is keeping it alive for us and for the future children of Hawaii. That was Ashley Jimenez's statement to accompany her artwork, Huaka'i. I just was... And you're on a new voyage yourself. Yeah, huh? graduating high school, and I'm just excited that... Um, thank you, Mr. Dong, and my parents, and this Mr. Abercrombie. Thank you. Thank you. I like that last part. Thank you very much, Ashley. How oh, she's on a new voyage herself. Big hand for Ashley.